we have no time to waste so let's start we're gonna get rid of that uh, awful default cube then we're gonna add a plane and we're gonna subdivide it a few times i personally like to make these corners round so just select the three vertices in a corner and then uh merge them in the middle this is totally optional but i personally don't really like those pointy corners this is totally optional, but what I like to do here is select the inner two edge loops and scale them up with the proportional editing tool with the falloff set to sphere. It is only to change the shape of the pillow a little bit. So now select everything, then extrude it, and you want to alt select the middle row of faces. Then just delete only faces, so you still have those edges left. Now go to the physics properties panel and click on cloth simulation. Scroll down and select pressure. We are going to have a pressure of 10. And then we're going to scroll down again. We're going to make sure our gravity is at zero. And we're going into shape where we're going to put on sewing. Sewing essentially sews those edges that we have uh, left over from deleting the faces. Sews those two parts together. Now just start the animation and you can choose a frame which you like. If you like the frame you can apply the cloth simulation. I put in a subdivision surface to get some more detail in there. Then go into edit mode, select everything, click on F3 and look up merge by distance. Make sure you put the distance a little bit higher. And now you have essentially deleted all of those edges which were still there. Now select the middle edge loop and you can click on Ctrl B to create a bevel. And I scroll one time up to create an extra edge loop in the middle. And that edge loop I am going to scale down. So now we have a seam. For some extra detail you can jump into sculpting mode with the new sculpting brush. Which is released in Blender 2.82 I thought. Um, it is now of course already live. So just download the latest version if you want it. And uh, a little tip here. Play around with the various options that you have. And... Um, you don't want to overdo it so make sure you put the strength a little bit lower and you can also use your smooth brush here most of the time I say that you should not really use your smooth brush but in this case I think the smooth brush uh, really does some good work because a lot of times you really feel like oh yeah I get all this cool detail but you still have to remember that this kind of cloth just does not have that many wrinkles right it's not like an old lady Let's take a look at our material. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a image texture and we're gonna open the texture which you can get from my website. So just download it from here, um, it's for free and I will leave the link down in uh, the description down below. You're going to merge this with a bump map. Uh, just make sure you first put it to non-color data because it's just a grayscale map and you put it into the height. Now do the normal into the normal and you can look at the material. You can see that the height is a bit too much so just put it lower. Maybe 0.1 is good. Make sure you put the sheen all the way up and also you want to play around with the roughness. You can create a roughness map as well but I just put it at 0.8. And now you just have a lot of freedom. So if you want a nice little print in here you can of course just put whatever you want. I hope you guys learned from this and yeah don't forget to poop. So uh, I'll see you guys. <laughs>